You know, I, I, again, I should have asked you this a little bit earlier in our conversation, um, but 9-11, mm -hmm. where were you when 9-11 happened? And, and did that in any way, I mean, obviously you knew that this was your course, mm -hmm. but did 9-11 in any way solidify, I just can't wait to graduate high school because if, if I thought I knew, now I really know that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Because I know a lot of guys signed up right after 9-11. Oh, yeah. I was in biology class um, when the TVs came on, that the teacher put on the TV and I could see what was going on. And she described it as like a small commuter jet, charter jet or something, had accidentally crashed into it um, before we had found out that wasn't the case. And our school went on lockdown. Um, both my parents, my dad worked at the NSA at the time. and I remember him and my mom worked at Walter Reed Army Hospital, military hospital. And I remember them um, coming home. I, I ran home from school with my best friend, Dre. Uh, it was like a mile from the house. And on the way to the house, my mom pulled up in the minivan and she flung open the door and was like, hop in. And we were all you know, pretty much like terrified. We didn't understand what was going on until we got home and turned on the news. And that's like all we watched that day were you know, the Twin Towers collapsing and all the chaos that was going on that day. Um, but watching it, I remember thinking of myself, I was pissed off, I didn't know, I knew it was a terrorist attack, they said. And I remember thinking, you know, I wanna go fight, get revenge on these guys. And I knew that we were going to go to war. I just didn't wanna miss it. And I wanted to skip grades and, and get out of high school, drop out and join, you know, so bad. But I was in the 11th grade and I was 11th grade when that happened. And uh, damn, was I? No, I was in biology. I was not the 11th grade. That was 2001. So I was 10th grade. Yeah. Might have been 10th grade 10th when that grade. Yeah. Um, and I remember being like, sad at the fact that I had two more years before I would graduate and be able to go. And I was, you know, thinking to myself that the war was going to be over in two years. I wouldn't be able to, you know, be involved with it. So um, I was like wanting to drop out, sign up at an early age. I read about stories like that of guys in Vietnam being 15, lying about their age and stuff, but that was impossible for me. But I was, I remember feeling that I was going to miss out on the war, but that, you know, I definitely wanted to go pursue my career in the military and, and display uh, what I thought I, I had in me, which was, you know, able to go fight. Yeah. I, I got to imagine, cause I know that day affected the entire world. And if oh, yeah. you lived in the U S in particular, it obviously affected you. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's patriotism went from zero to a hundred real quick, if, if it was at zero, but it mm -hmm. definitely went through the roof. So mm -hmm. I gotta imagine somebody like you who already had it in your mind that this was gonna be my career path, seeing those buildings topple, seeing the planes hit the buildings, mm -hmm. hearing that over 3000 innocent souls were taken from us on that one day. Yeah. I could imagine like you, it would be like a, 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 a dog just wanting to get out that cage, like, oh, yeah. let me go. Because so oh, yeah. many people went and in, 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 enrolled right after it. Yeah, I felt left out. Um, I wanted to go fight so bad. And, and the guys who were, I was in ROTC with, um, who were seniors, they left. They would come back and, you know, in uniform. And, and I watched one of the guys deploy. Uh, we were in the Raider program together uh, in ROTC. He left a year or two before I did. He jumped into Iraq. And I remember he had his legs blown off. And I was like, damn, this war is, it's a serious war. Um, but it made me want to go that much more because I knew this guy. And we were tight in ROTC. We were cool together. And um, yeah, I felt left out. I felt that I was supposed to be there and, and in the combat with them, you know? Uh, I watched, like you said, everybody's patriotism skyrocketed. I couldn't go walk down my neighborhood without seeing the American flag, you know, waving in someone's window. It was what everybody was talking about, you know, during that time. And it was 
knowing what I wanted to do, I felt like I wasn't doing my part, you know, um, everyone else could display as an adult, you know, their patriotism, they could offer their, you know, services to go volunteer for whatever, or go join the military. And I was just the, you know, 10th, 11th grade, sitting on my hands and knees, what it felt like, wanting to go fight. But I definitely remember that patriotism. Mine was like at a 250 at that time, you know? What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.